Hey everybody, welcome back to Everyday Journey. Today we're going to check out, figure out what's broken on this milling machine head. Um, for anybody who's new to this, this is a Jet 16 milling machine, uh, center or uh, round column design. And uh, I know for sure, I'll show you guys right now, there is a, uh, a broken part in here. Looks like it's covering up bearings um, and it's for the elevation crank handle. Um, well, it's for the elevation crank. Uh, let's go ahead and look at that. So, as you can see, here's where the uh, the crank handle, well, the crank actually comes through, the shaft of it comes through. Here's our gear that will engage this gear. And this gear will actually engage on the, uh, the vertical gear or the, uh, well, let me just show you. It will engage on this gear which is actually going on the, the column itself. You can see it's a little rounded on the back, so it fits against the column, and this is what adjusts our elevation. And as you can see though, the bearings are showing, which is fine, those are fine, but we got this piece right here, which may or may not be attached, it looks like it may be, um, to the bearing, but those bearings are not supposed to be exposed. So we need to figure out how to get that out. So let's go back to the front and go from there. So first off, we know we're going to have to remove this handle. Um, it's got set screws here on top. We're going to go ahead and undo those. I've already loosened them. Um, I believe this is a 4 millimeter set screw. Just loosen that until we get some movement. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and pull that off of there if we can. Make sure our set screw is not going anywhere. We're going to go ahead and tighten that back down in there some. So, now we've got, looks like maybe another set screw here on this one. So we're going to have to undo that. This one's been painted over. <laughs> it's actually bigger than what it looked. It's been painted over, so I thought the uh, the hole was actually where the the Allen needed to go into to reach the set screw. And turns out it was just the hole for the set screw. So now that that's loose, it should slide off. And of course this one's going to give us the same trouble. This would be much better if we had a gear puller on this. Let's see if I can get some leverage behind this. So it's probably just the burrs with the set screw, probably even all the crud that was on the end of the shaft because it was protruding for probably many years. And uh, so it would probably been best to go ahead and clean all that up, but there's nothing you can really do about the burr inside where the set screw is going. You just kind of have to deal with it. So anyway, that's out. Let's look at the inside again and see how we can get this the rest of the way out. So when we're turning this, you can see everything turning there. It is actually rotating independently of the bearing, so that's a, a good sign. Uh, if we push out on this at the same time, we might be able to get this to unthread out of it. No, not going to happen. So now we got to work on that. Uh, that shaft down there, 
it's got that other bearing or the other uh, the other gear if you can see over here there is a small hole there where that shaft is going through there's a small hole there and I've checked it for its set screw and it either doesn't have one or it was never never had one one of the two um, but I have been able to get where that shaft protrudes out the back here um, and it looks like it's unscrewing out of it so let's try that the one thing I am going to do though is this plate right here that holds the motor and actually gives it a pivot point so it can uh, so it can provide some tension on the belts um, I want to get that out of the way so there's two 17 millimeter bolts one on the top one on the bottom we're going to go and remove those there we go that and as always I'm going to put these back because I don't want to lose anything on something I think this thing was made in a 1979 that's the date that it shows on there and uh, so I don't want to try to find parts from 1979 especially these these are really low profile heads on them um, granted they're just bolts but still one less thing that I got to worry about getting and I'm going to go ahead and tighten these down just to make sure they're not going to fall out for anybody wondering Yes, this is my Harbor Freight Ratchet from my 301 piece tool set. Um, works fine, still working good. Just thought I'd show you that. So we'll spin this around a little bit so we can see it. Here is where it's protruding out. I'll go ahead and take, what is this, 12 millimeter? Oh, that one's 13. There we go, take a 12 millimeter wrench and we're going to go ahead and try to spin that off don't know for sure whether or not this is coming out let's see get all our crap out of the way so we can actually spin this So it looks like I may have to actually put a screwdriver or something in there to kind of help push it. Do that or we can try pulling it out. My guess is there's either a set screw in there that I can't see or feel or uh, Uh, I think there should have been. So right now I'm just pulling on it at the same time as kind of twisting it. It seems to be coming out. So there should be a set screw in there or something, some kind of pin, and there's not. But we get this out of the way. Our gear should fall right out. <clears throat> there we go. There's our gear. So we're going to put that there. I would like to get this the rest of the way out. See if we can't see where a set screw should have been engaging. And it looks like there probably is a set screw in there of some sort because I see, I can see some marking right here but it doesn't look like the set screw was actually tight so we're going to try to find that after <clears throat> but for now let's see if we can't go ahead and push this whole shaft on through and we might need a little percussion because same thing as the trying to get that stuff off stick it a little bit <clears throat> and I'm going to use this 
See if I can't get it the rest of the way through. <clears throat> All right, so we need something a little bit smaller than that. We'll try this. There we go. So, now that's out, let's take a better look at it. So, here is our shaft. It's got a, uh, well, looks like the bearing is coming out here. Let's see if we can actually get the, uh, the bearings to actually fall out like they normally always will. No, they are still intact. This is a spacer here that's going on one side of the bearing. It's got a nice rounded area there where the bearings are going in. So we want to make sure that stays where it's supposed to stay. We've got grease that's coming out and going everywhere. So let's see if we can take a better look at this piece. This is the piece that's broken. looks like the same thing as what we got on the one side on the other side yeah let me clean this up all right so as you can see it's just the same spacer that was on the other side except for it's broken uh, it does have the curved bearing profile so the bearings can go in there um, but it's just a spacer for the bearings to, to ride on. Um, it does look machined. And it does look like it is a powdered metal. Need to get back in there, clean everything up as I put it back together, and replace this part. So hopefully we can find that and, uh, and then go from there.